Ever since LG released the first OLED TV, TV manufacturers have been scrambling to try and make their LED LCD TVs look more like OLED while maintaining all the advantages they already had. I've seen a lot of different tricks pulled to try and make that happen, but none of them as impressive as what I'm seeing right here. Hey everybody, Caleb Dennison with Digital Trends. I'm at IFA 2019 right now in TCL's booth, and we're checking out its new mini LED technology. Now we actually got a preview of this a couple months ago, but I didn't get to see the TVs myself. This is the first time I've gotten to stand in front of it and get some solid impressions, and man, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So, here's the deal with mini LED TVs. What they're doing is basically using tiny little LEDs in a very dense, tightly packed, backlight structure in order to better illuminate the LCD panel. The idea is with these tighter clusters and a whole bunch of local dimming control, it's not quite pixel level illumination, but it's very close. So you get better blacks, better contrast, and less halo around bright objects on a black background. Now, if this kind of technology sounds familiar, you might be thinking back to the Sony Z9D. When that first came out, it did use a whole bunch of LEDs behind the panel and it could get extremely bright. But again, this is different. These are much smaller little diodes that are more tightly packed and that makes a big, big difference. This TV behind me right now, 75 inch, has about 25,000 individual little LED lights in that. And when you have those tightly packed clusters, you can do some pretty amazing things. I've been looking at this TV for the last uh, 15 minutes or so, and I'm super impressed. Now, it's not perfect. You do get a little tiny bit of halo that you can see if you look really, really, really closely. But honestly, when this TV is doing its thing and it's putting out big, bright images that are enhanced by QLED technology, it does have quantum dots built in, it's absolutely brilliant. Probably the closest to OLED that I've seen yet, and that includes Samsung's Q90. I think it does a better job in those respects. Now, as TCL involves, their signal processing is getting better and better. And since signal processing is a really big part of the overall picture quality, I think that the technology still has a little bit of a way to go until it's combating against Samsung's top of the line Q90. But when we're looking at just the black levels, just the mitigation of Halo, I think this is the best stuff out there so far. Now we know that Hisense is working on a dual screen layer technology that might do something similar, but so far this is the only TV that I know that is ready to go to the market that is going to do some serious battle against OLED in terms of the black levels and contrast. Now what I'm hoping for is that by CES 2020 we're going to see a production model of this television ready to hit the US market with aggressive pricing, but the fact of the matter is this technology is out there. Others are seeing it and I think that's going to push other TV manufacturers to come up with something similar. One way or another, we're looking at a very exciting year of TV in 2020, and the preview for that is happening right now at IFA 2019. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think about this technology? Are you as excited as I am about it? What do you think is going to come next? Leave me a comment down below, and of course, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with another video. And as always, you can see the latest tech news and reviews at digitaltrends.com.